Hey, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at subsets of the complex plane. So we're going to be looking at circles, lines, and rays. Okay, so our circles, uh, if we have the equation the modulus of z equals r, where z equals x plus yi, well that gives us the modulus of z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared equals r. So we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared, that should be. Okay, and this is our equation of a circle. Okay, so this is the equation of our circle that we use. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And when we draw it, okay, we see that we are centered at the origin and we have a radius of r units. Okay, now we can have translations, that sort of thing as well with our circle, which we'll see in this worked example. Okay, so we're looking at uh, determine the Cartesian equation and sketch the graph of and Z defined as the modulus of Z plus 2 take 3i equals 4. Okay, that's the equation we're given. Okay, so what we do is we replace our Z with our X plus YI. Okay, so that gives us the modulus of X plus yi plus 2 take 3i equals 4. Okay, we collect our like terms, means we get uh, x plus 2 plus i times y minus 3 gives us 4. Okay, and then we can use our definition of our modulus function here, okay, uh, to actually uh, work it out. So we can say then we have the square root of x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared okay, equaling 4. So that means that we get our x plus 2 squared plus y take 3 squared equaling 16. Okay, so this represents a circle whose centre is at minus 2 positive 3. Okay, we switch the signs inside our brackets. That's going to have a radius okay, of 4. Okay, so if we were to draw that okay, here's our minus 2 okay, there's our 3, so our centre is here. Okay, radius of 4 means we're going to come up the top of our circle is at 7, bottom of our circle is at minus 1. Okay, and we're going to come across k okay, to minus 6, across to positive 2. You can kind of get an idea of what's going to be happening here. It's going to be about there, about here, about here, and about here. Okay, something like that. Okay, so we'll keep moving on. Okay, oh, sorry, and these are our imaginary and our real axes, not our Cartesian plane. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, lines now. So if z equals x plus yi, okay, then the real part of z is x and the imaginary part of z is y. So the equation a times the real part of z plus b times the imaginary part of z equals c represents the line ax plus by equals c. Okay, so we'll do a work the example for this. Okay, just checking that that's all we've got. Yep. Okay, so we're going to look at the equation defined as uh, z is 2 times the real of z take 3 times the imaginary part of z equals 6. Okay, and we're going to determine the Cartesian equation and sketch the graph. Okay, so uh, we've got our equation and remember that z equals x plus yi. Okay, so our real part is x, our imaginary part equals y. Okay, so we can say this is really 2x take 3y equals 
six. Okay, I would rearrange that, but I mean, I just always like to put in the form y equals mx plus c. So it says that we've got minus three y equals uh, six, sorry, yeah, minus two x okay, plus six. Okay, we can divide by negative three. So we get y equals two on three x. Okay, take two. And so we can sketch that as well. I come through. So we know we go through negative two. And we've got a gradient of two thirds. Okay, which means we're going to uh, come up to for a run of three. So we're going to come through positive three. It's going to be something like that. Okay. So I'll look at the thing if I just squeeze in one last worked example here, okay, which we're looking at Z being defined as modulus of Z minus 2i equaling the modulus of Z plus 2. Okay, and again we want to determine the Cartesian equation and sketch it. We probably won't have to remove the sketch it. Okay, so what we do is, again, we substitute our z equals x plus yi. So we get e, sorry, modulus of x plus yi minus 2i equaling x plus yi plus 2. Right, okay, and then what we do is we can collect our like terms up, that sort of thing. Our z, our modulus of x plus i y minus two equals modulus of x plus two plus y i. Okay. and then we can use our definition of our modulus function again. Okay, so then this side we say well that's the square root of x squared plus y take 2 squared equals the square root of x plus 2 squared plus y squared. Okay, okay so if we ex uh, square both sides okay, and expand, we get x squared and we're going to expand these brackets, gives us y, so plus y squared take 4y plus 4. Okay, equals x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared. Okay, so we're getting there now. Okay, and we can uh, cancel out some like terms and such. Okay, so if we look here, okay, so this x squared and this x squared will cancel out because we just take it away. Okay, we can take this y squared away from this y squared. Okay, and we could take this 4 away from that 4. Okay, so it's going to leave us with minus 4y equaling 4x. Okay, so then y is going to equal negative x. Okay, and we've got our equation. So you, you, I don't think anyone would have really picked to start off with that this equation okay, in a Cartesian form would just be y equals minus x. Okay, so I'll keep going. Okay, so intersection of lines and circles. Okay, so it can be found algebraically using simultaneous equations. Okay, so basically we're saying if we've got two solutions, we've got a circle, we've got a line, and they're going to intersect twice. One solution, okay, our line is going to be a tangent to our circle, and then we've got no solution is they don't intersect at all. Okay, so we'll have a look at a uh, worked example for that one. Okay, so we've got two sets of points in the complex plane are defined by, so we've got S equals... Modulus of z equals five. Okay, and t is defined by z is got two times our real of z. Take our imaginary part of z equals ten. Okay, so there are two equations. 
we're going to find the coordinates of the points of intersection between S and T. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to work with our two equations first. Okay, so we're going to find S to start off with. Okay, so we're going to find our Cartesian form of S. So we know we substitute in our uh, Z into here. So we get the modulus of X plus Y I equals 5. So that means we get the square root of X squared plus Y squared equals 5. Okay, therefore we get x squared plus y squared equals 25. Okay, so this is going to be our circle. Okay, at the origin is a radius of 5. Okay, so now we can look at this one. Okay, so we're going to, uh, for this one we know that our real part is x and our imagined part is y. So we're going to get for t. 2x take y equals 10. Okay, so then we can get 2x equals 10 plus y. So y equals 2x minus 10. Okay, uh, so we've got our two equations now. And so we can solve them simultaneously. So we'll do that up here. So what I'm going to do is the substitution. Okay, so I'm going to sub this equation y equals 2x in for y here. So we're going to say that we've got so x squared plus 2x take 10 squared equaling 25. Okay, so we need to expand out our brackets. So we've got x squared uh, plus 4x squared take 40x plus 100 equals 25. So we've got here 5x squared minus 40 okay, plus 75. So we take our 25 across equals 0. Okay, I divide by 5 now. So we've got x squared take, so let's say that should be x in there, take 8x. A plus 15 equals 0. Okay, so then we can say that we get x take 5 and x take 3 equals 0. So you get x equals 5 or x equals 3. So I said we've got two solutions for when they intersect. So then we're looking at this one here. Okay, we need our y values. Okay, so we've got this equation here. Okay, so we sub these values into there. Okay, so for x equals 5, y equals 2 times 5 minus, sorry, minus 10, so that's going to be 0. So we've got one of our coordinates is 5, 0. For x equals 3, we get y equals 2 times 3, take 10, so we're going to get y equals minus 4. So our other point is 3 minus 4. Okay. And we'll end up with all our intersection points. Okay. So we'll keep moving on to our last part of this video, which is about rays. Okay, so for this one, we say that uh, the r to z equals theta. Well, this represents all the points that lie on the half line. Right? We one end at the origin and makes an angle theta with the positive real axis. So we're looking at this, okay? So we get we only have this part of the line, it doesn't keep going. We only have this part, okay, and our angle is measured this way, okay, measured that way, okay, and these theta units. Okay, and note that our origin isn't included, it's an open dot at our origin. Okay, so we'll look at uh, our last worked example for this section. So we've got Z is the arg of Z. Oops, sorry, R, sorry. Z is the arg of Z minus 1 plus I equals negative pi on 4. Okay, so we need to again substitute our Z in. So we know that we get the arg of X plus Y I minus 1 plus Y going negative pi on 4. Okay, collect our like terms. 
the arg is going to be now x plus 1, oh, sorry, x minus 1, sorry. x take 1, okay, plus y plus 1 times i equals negative pi on 4. Okay, and then we use the def definition of our argument, okay, which is that we have inverse tan okay, of this part, our imaginary part, so our y plus 1 over our x take 1 equaling negative pi on 4, okay, and that's for all our x greater than 1. Okay, and we can simplify that. Okay, so we say, well, we make this y plus 1 over x take 1 equals 10 of negative pi on 4. Okay, which equals y plus 1 over x take 1 equals negative 1. Okay, that's our value of inverse 10 of negative pi on 4. Okay, so we can multiply then to get y plus 1 equals negative x plus 1, okay, because we're going to be times it by negative 1. Okay, so getting there, and then we're going to take our 1 away, so we can get y equals negative x, okay, for all x is greater than 1. Okay, now that was because of our take 1 here. Okay, so that means that our ray starts from the point 1, negative 1. If we put 1 into here for x, we get y is negative 1. Okay, it makes our angle of negative pi and 4 from the real axis. So what that means is when we sketch this, negative 1 and 1. So we start here, we don't include that point. We come down this way. Okay, and think here, that is our negative pi on 4. So we've got to come back down this way, okay, because our angle is negative. So it means that we're going to go this way. If our angle is positive, we're going to measure it around that way. Okay, so that's everything for this video and this tutorial. So hopefully that's enough to get you through the questions on this section.